Last year, Tacova's ventured into the work boot territory with their ranch wear line. And since then, it's been one of the most requested boots that I do a video on. So today, Tacova's is back on the channel and I have the Bandera. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I just released a new album. I'm a singer-songwriter, if you didn't know that, and my new album is called Life is for Taking Chances. There are story songs about a western gunfight, a group of thieves, an evil loan shark, an escape artist with leprosy, love story songs, and so much more. Give Life is for Taking Chances a listen on your favorite streaming platform. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Bandcamp. Thank you so much for listening. Now, let's get these Tacova Banderas out of the box. Huge thanks to Lucas White for sending me these Tacova's Banderas. He wore them for about a week and decided that they weren't for him and sent them to me for the purposes of this video and I'm so pumped to finally take a closer look at these Banderas. Looking good, now it's time for the rundown. The Bandera is a part of Tacova's new ranch wear line of work boots and this is a oiled bovine leather in their clay color. You can also see that it features a nice medium round toe. It's also coming in at 12 inches tall with the classic cording look in the shaft, which is standard on lots of Tacovas. Another thing that I'm noticing about this boot is that the shaft is narrow. It's proportional to the rest of the boot. A lot of times we see boots on this channel that are just super wide, and I don't mention it very often because it's so common. So it's such a relief to see a more narrow shaft here uh, because it's gonna fit much better. Here's exactly what I'm talking about. You can see the shaft here is much more proportional to the rest of the boot. And here on this area legend, it's very wide and it's much bigger than what it has to be, making it a little bit more cumbersome to fit under pants. So these are exactly the same size too, both 10 and a half D. Let's talk about the heel here. We have a one and three quarters inch stacked leather heel. And for an outsole, we have an aggressive or semi-aggressive Vibram rubber outsole with also an aggressive heel cap as well. I love Vibram rubber outsoles. It's some of the best rubber outsoles that you can get. And that outsole is held onto the boot with a Goodyear welt but that is a very thick outsole, so it might be quite a bit of time before you actually need to get these resold. On the inside, we have a leather lining all the way through, and just like all the other Tacovas that we've looked at on this channel, it is a, a hung leather lining, which means that the seams here where this part of the leather meets is covered up. So I know a lot of people have trouble with that seam rubbing against their leg or their ankle. You won't have that problem in this work boot since they covered up that seam with the lining and that's always a nice feature to have. As an insole, we have something new to the ranch wear line from Tacovas, and that is a removable polyurethane insole. Looks like it's topped with a thin piece of leather and underneath that you do have that polyurethane foam and it feels really nice. And underneath that you do have a non-removable insole that is very similar to what you would find in all the other Tacovas. So if you wanted to buy a boot and size down and wear it without a removable insole, you could totally do that or just wear the boot with thicker socks. The Bandera is also made in Mexico just like all the other Tacovas and it's coming in at $225, which I feel like is a very reasonable price based on all the features that I'm looking at here in the first impression but be sure to stick around to the end because that's when I will really be able to tell you if it is worth the $225. Right now though, we gotta put it on for the first time to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Tacova's Bandera on right now and I like the feel of it. I like it much better than the fit of the other Tacova's lines that don't have that removable insole. It still feels very luxurious for a work boot especially Everything is leather lined, even the removable insole. So it 
it does feel nice. It feels much more luxurious than I would have expected, especially when compared to other work boots in the same price range. Tacova sizing is always a little bit weird for me. I've tried 11Ds in the past. The Earl 11D was too small. The Square Toe Jackson 11D was too big. This Bandera is a 10 and a half D and it seems to be a good size for me. It is a little bit tight around the toes, but really that comes with my foot. I feel that in a lot of different types of cowboy boots. And the only way that Tacovas can get around that is by releasing B widths. And I feel that since they are becoming one of the bigger brands in the Western wear industry, that it is about time for them to make B widths. For now, I feel like we'll have to cheat. And the best way for companies to cheat is with a removable insole. I feel like it's doing a good job here, making up for the fact that I am not a true 10 and a half D. The leather feels good. It's definitely not as supple as the boots that they have that aren't in their ranch wear line, but it feels durable at the same time. That outsole is also nice and grippy, but it makes the boot really heavy. Um, I'll have to weigh it and tell you guys what it weighs in the final thoughts, but overall I like it so far, so we'll have to see where it goes in the extended test. And I like the fact that the uh, shaft is a bit more narrow. It fits my leg much better than a lot of other boots in the same price range. So that is very nice. It's going to work out well with a lot of different types of work jeans. So speaking of work, we got to do an extended test for these Banderas. So let's go. I headed up to Westford, Massachusetts to help out at Orange Cat Gardens. They needed to get one of their plots ready for summer planting. So I was happy to help. I started out on the tiller. Then I jumped on the wheel hoe to help get all of the extra weeds out at the roots that the tiller might have missed. This is an old, old tool that uh, I'd never used before, and it wouldn't be the first time I used a new to me tool that day. Next up though, I had to use a good old handy rake, which I'm familiar with. I gathered all of the weeds that were removed by the tiller and the wheel hoe, and just made a pile of them so that we could get them off of the plot. After dumping the wheelbarrow, it was time for me to learn another new to me tool, the broad fork, which aerates the earth and makes channels for the fertilizer to reach the roots. Jim Glenn, co-owner of Orange Cat Gardens, taught me how to use this. And while I'm getting the hang of this, I'm gonna let Jim and Christine tell you about their business. I'm Jim Glenn. I'm Christine. Uh, you're here at Orange Cat Gardens. We wanted to make a farm that was small, something that you could start out without, start up without having to own the land. Somewhere, something where you could rent the land and build your farm and grow it into something. We've been working all day with Jeremiah. We've been getting our plot ready for the summer season. We did some bed work today, cleared it all out in here, and we're gonna be ready to go and get planting. So this summer, we're gonna be planting peas, cucumbers, carrots, lettuce, some summer squash and zucchini. It's gonna be awesome. Sun Gold Tomatoes are one of our biggest hits. It is the sweetest cherry tomato that you've ever tried. Uh, they're a bright orange color. Kids love them, they eat them like candy. <laughs> After finishing up with the broad fork, it was time to burn whatever weeds remained with the torch. Again, Jim showed me how to use it with the best method here, but when I gave it a shot, well, I'm not very good at staying in the lines, and I accidentally burned both strings, which marked out the path. It was then decided that I'd just go freestyle, burning the rest of the weeds that remained 
in the Tacova's Bandera. And then I wanted to hear about Orange Cat Garden's CSA and what they have planned for 2021. So the CSA is a 20 week uh, subscription you pay at the beginning of the year and become a member. By supporting us, you help us to plan for the season and then we give you the freshest, the best of the crops for 20 weeks. Every time you come down, we've got a basket of the best that we have to offer ready for you. 2021, we are starting a new delivery service and we will be having pop-up farm stands that will, where people will be able to come down for a couple hours, a couple times a week and pick up uh, vegetables they can see what they want to buy before they pick it out. You can follow us on Facebook at Orange Cat Gardens or you can check out our website at orangecatgardens.com. Again, huge thanks to Orange Cat Gardens for letting me help out. Be sure to like their Facebook page to keep track of them. The Tacova's Bandera is a good work boot that's built tough, but it has one glaring issue that I could not overlook. Let's start with the good. I love the Vibram rubber outsole. This thing is tough. I love the tread in it, the oiled leather that they use, very durable. The shaft is also a bit narrower here, so it will fit well under lots of different kinds of work pants. It is pretty heavy for a work boot, but it's a work boot. It's gonna come with some heft for sure. You certainly are getting a lot here for $225, but there is one big issue, and that's the removable insole and the fit. There's been a few times when I've purchased other brands of boots and it's been a little bit too big, so I've had to put an insole in there to sort of fill out the space a little bit. That's what the Tacova's Bandera feels like, except it's made that way. It's like your foot is pressed up to the top of the boot, and it also doesn't fit very well at the heel. In a well-fitting boot, the counter here will kind of cup the heel, allowing the heel to kind of slip up and down because you do need some heel slip in a Western boot or Western work boot. But the insole takes up a lot of that space. So when my foot was in here, I was getting the heel slip, but my heel was slipping up against the seam up top here at this counter. And it led to some pretty painful blisters when I was wearing this for the first couple of days. Now you may be asking, well, Jeremiah, why didn't you just wear it without the insole? Because then it's just too big. That's why I'm saying that this boot feels like other boots that I've tried that were too big and I had to add the insole myself, except that's just how the Bandera comes. It's a very awkward feeling for a new boot. It's like the boot isn't made for a removable insole, but they added one anyways. Thankfully, after a few days, the rubbing at the heel did go away and I was able to work at Orange Cat Gardens without any heel pain at all. So it does break in for that to go away, but it wasn't very enjoyable breaking it in at all. There are many other big brands with removable insoles that I wear the exact same size like Ariat and Boulet that don't have that problem. They hug the heel really nice. Even Chisos boots with their enormously thick insole, they don't have that problem either. So they've incorporated the space for the insole that Tacovas seem to have overlooked in the Bandera. That said, this boot will work for a lot of people out there. It's hardy and well-built. Still, I would prefer other work boots like my Hondo 7875 over this and even some of the Ariat boots that I've tried in the past. Let me know what you think of these Tacovas down in the comments. Huge thanks to Lucas White for sending me these Banderas, making this video possible. And don't forget to check out my new album, Life is for Taking Chances, on your favorite music streaming platform. I'll see you around. Peace. The Tacovas Bandera is built well at a nice price. But the only issue is the fit is not so nice. No. Why don't you check out this video up here about the Hondo 7875. Or I got a video down here about my new album, Life is for Taking Chances. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.